Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. So before we start our lesson, let's have our attendance first. JR, Melod. Present, sir. Okay. Glio, James. Present, sir. Prince. Present, sir. Present. Okay. Very good. Alright, so before we discuss our lesson, what have we done last meeting? Spelling. Spelling. So, how many scores did you get? Nine. Nine. Five. Five. You? Eight. Eight. So, very good. So, I am expecting that you are all good in spelling after our uh, session last meeting. So, so today, um, we will play a game. Alright, so please stand up. Stand up. Okay, if you know this one, so if you know you know the song, if you're happy and you know it. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So let's start. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it, if you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Alright, so please take your seats now. Okay, so before we discuss our... Uh, Topic, no? Let's have our objectives. I'll read the objectives for today. So at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to, the first one, determine the characters and the sequential events in a story. Alright? The second one, understand story sequence. The third one, spot and understand transition words. And then the last one, arrange a story in a correct order. So this is our objectives for today and we will going to do this, all of this today. Alright? Okay. Before we discuss, let's have our activity first. So who would like to read? Okay, JR. Please read. Hannah went to the market to buy food. First, she bought some vegetables. Then she bought some fruit. Lastly, she bought some fish when Anna get tired. She bought an ice cream and sat on pen bench. Anna rode a tricycle and she won, went home. Okay, very good. Very good, JR. So, Anna went to the market to buy food. First, she bought some vegetables. Then, she bought some fruits. Lastly, she bought some fish. And when Anna get tired, she bought an ice cream and sat on the bench. Now, Anna rode a tricycle and she went home. So, where is ha ha Anna in the, in the pictures? Okay, Glio, Glio. This one, so this is Anna. So, this is our character, right? So, what did Anna do? Anna... What did Anna do? Where did Anna went? Market. Went to the market. Where is the market? JR. Okay, very good. So, Anna went to the market. So, the second one, she bought, first, she bought some vegetables. What did Anna do? First? Vegetables. Oh, what did Anna buy first? Vegetables? Yes. Right. Oh, where is the vegetables, friends? Okay, very good, to Prince. This is the vegetable. So, the vegetables is the first uh, uh, food that Anna bought. Alright, so, amun siyang una, yun bakal ni Anna. Alright, so, and then, then, she bought some fruits. What did Anna bought? Fruits. Second, fruits. So, where is the fruits? Leo. Okay, very good, simply you. This one is the fruits. So, and lastly, she bought some fish. What did Anna buy lastly? Fish. Fish. Where's the fish? They are. 
Okay, so fish. This is the last that Anna bought in the market. Alright? So, when Anna get tired, so ano meaning ng get tired? What's the meaning of get tired? Kapoy. Okay, so when Anna get tired, so nakapoy siya. She bought an ice cream and sat on the bench. What did Anna buy? Ice cream. Ice cream. So where's the ice cream, Prince? Okay, very good. Si Prince, ice cream. And then she sat on the bench. Where's the bench? Okay, Glio, where's the bench? Okay, she sat on the bench. Very good. Okay. Then, Anna rode a tricycle and she went home. JR, where's the tricycle? Okay, very good. And then she went home. So, so this is the home. So to to sum up what to sum to sum up the narrative. So this is the narrative all about. So first, our character who is this? Anna. 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 So Anna went to the market. Market. So amun ni siyang una gidimu ni Anna. So she went on. Uh, she went to the market. So, to, in the market, first she bought vegetables. So, this is what Anna first bought in the market. So, vegetables. And then she bought fruits. Fruits. Alright, fruits. That's what she bought second. So, and lastly, she bought fish. Fish. So, see, this fish is the last thing she bought in the market. Alright, so when Anna get tired. She bought ice cream. ice cream. She bought ice cream. And then she sat on bench. Leo, where? Bench. Bench. Very good, Leo. Okay. And then Anna rode a tricycle. What does it mean? Anna rode a tricycle. Ano meaning? Nag -sakai, tricycle. Nag Sakai tricycle. So Anna rode a tricycle. All right. And then she went. Went home. Ano, ano, what do we mean by she went home? Napuli. Napuli. Very good. She went home. So, this is what the narrative is all about. Alright? So, she, Anna, first our character. So, this is what Anna did in this narrative. Alright? Did you get it, class? Yes, sir. Yes, very good. So, to discuss our topic for today, also, our topic for today is about story sequence all right so a story sequence is the order of events that take place in a narrative or story all right so the same here in our activity no so story sequence tells about the uh, the order or the pattern of the events inside a narrative so ano ang gipan buhat sa aton nga nabaw si ana ang gipan buhat niya di ba ama to right yes sir yes Alright, so that is our story sequence. So the sequence, so Anna went to the market first to buy food, then she buy vegetables and so on. Alright, so to spot and understand a story sequence, the reader must identify the main narrative components such as the subject or the character. In our example here, what is our, who is our, the sub, who is our character? Anna. Anna, very good, Leo. Anna, Anna is our character. So, and then uh, we have to identify the main character or the uh, the the subject, which is Anna in this uh, example. The beginning of the event. So, Anna went to the market. For example, the beginning of the event, the middle of the middle of the event, and the last. So, the last thing that the character did in a story or a narrative. Did you get it, class? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Now, story sequence is easily understood by knowing the transition words such as, please read. First, second, next, then, after that, last. Last. These are the words to uh, we have to uh, understand these words 
to understand ay story sequence kung ano ang pagkasunod-sunod sa mga naitabo right so this is the keyword so first second then after that lastly and so on so here where is our transition words this one what is this please read first, first. and then then and then lastly lastly so this our transition word so you are going uh, so that you will be able to understand the text fully right yes sir. okay so in our example here one spring day i looked out my window so first i saw the sun shining on the tree next i saw the dark clouds over the tree and then the dark clouds get darker and it started to rain all right and lastly the rain stopped and i went outside no one spring day what did i do no ano ginawa niya Okay, sa bintana, sa salamin. Very good. So, in the, in the window, what did he saw first? Sun. Sun. Uh, the, the sun shining on the tree. On the tree. So, ano, ano ibig sabihin sila eh? Nakita niya, una niya nakita ang sun. Sun. Sa diin? Sa kahoy. Sa kahoy. So, sa kahoy. So, kahoy dapat ang sun, no? And then, next. So, our transition, uh, our next transition word is next. So, next, I saw the dark clouds over the tree. Ang nakita niya? Kusga? Ano? Okay. Clouds. I saw the clouds sa likod sa kayo over the tree. So, no, nagadulong. No, it's a bit sin, nagadulong. Okay, my um, clouds na tulong. Okay. And then, our next transition word is then. So, then, the clouds get darker and it started to rain. What does it mean? Nagulan. Very good, Leo. So, and then, our transition word here is then, the clouds get darker and it started to rain. Lastly, the rain stopped and I went outside. So, what did he do lastly? Nagawas. Okay. The rain stopped. What, what does it mean? Nag-stop ang ulan. ulan. Very good. So, how many ang? This is the last uh, event happened in this narrative. So, how many siya ang last nga ginbuhat? Ano po? Sa ako. Ano, ang, ang last kong ginbuhat. No? So, uh, I, when the rain stopped, I went outside. Okay, did you get it, class? Yes, sir. Okay. So, to apply what you have learned, no? so let us apply what you have learned. So, our application activity. So, to apply, to learn. Alright? So, do you know how an apple tree grows? Blank, plant three apple in a rich soil. Next, the three branches will grow buds. Blank, the buds will open and flowers will grow. Blank, the flowers will grow fresh apples. Blank, the apples will ripen and be ready to be so what you are going to do here is to find the exact word or the correct word to be placed in the blank space. So you are going to pick in the box what is the appropriate word. All right? Did you get it? Yes. Okay. Sir. Who is who is going to answer the first blank? Prince. Okay. What do you think is the answer, Prince? Please paste it. Go go. Okay. Okay. First, so do you think this is correct? Yes. Okay, this is correct. Now, read it. First, first plant an apple in a rich soil. What does it mean? Plant an apple in a rich soil. Mag? Itanong. Mag tanong. Very good. Anong itanong? Apple. 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 The end. Salupa. So, very good. Very good. So, first, plant an apple in a rich soil. Next, anong ibig sabihin sa next? Sunod. Sunod. Very good. So, um, amun siya ang transition word. This is the transition words. 
Next, sunod. Ano sunod yung buhat? The three branches will grow. But? Ang kahoy nag? Nagdako. Very good, Prince. Kusgay mo tingog, Prince. Okay. Ang kahoy nagdako. Alright? The blank. Blank, the buds will open and flowers will grow. So what do you think is the answer here? Okay, JR. Alright. Okay, do you think this is correct? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Alright, very good, huh? Very good. So then, so the answer is, here is then. Then, the buds will open and flowers will grow. What does it mean? Nagbulak. Nagbulak. Very good, very good, JR. So, the, then, the, the buds will open and flowers will grow. Blank, the flowers will grow, grow fresh apples. Who's going to answer this? Sino? Sino mag-answer? Glio. Okay. Okay, paste it. So, after that, the flowers will grow fresh apples. What does it mean? Nagdako ang flowers and nahimo? Apple. Ah, Apple. Very good. What what does it mean by after that? Ano meaning sa after that? Pagta, pag, oh, kasunod. Oh, kasunod. Or pagtapos. Very good. Very good. So, blank. The apples will ripen and be ready to be picked. Who's going to answer? Okay, Glio again. Very good. So lastly, okay. okay. Lastly, the apples will ripen and be ready to be picked. What does it mean? The apples will ripen. Okay. Lastly, the ra the apples will ripen and be ready to be picked. So lastly, ang apples is maglutok na siya. Okay. And then mag ano kusungkito na lang. Okay? Did you get it? Yes! So, what do you call these words? Lastly. Oh. So, this, uh, okay, this is lastly. So, lastly, the apples will ripen and be ready to pick. So, these words are transition words. Alright? Yes. So, you, you can see it here. So, first, then, and then, lastly. In here, uh, first, next, then, and then lastly, so these are transition words that will help you to understand the pattern of the narrative, alright, or the sto story, alright? Did you get it? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions? No. No, okay, so that's all for our lesson for today. Please stand up. Okay, goodbye class. Goodbye, sir. Okay. So you don't have any assignments for today.